Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fault in Vegas. This is James oh, Seth Lynch. Check out what I found. It's one of those pre war magazines on, um. It's on, um. Damn, I wish you could read. What's up? Oops. Okay, but I know exactly what's in there. You have no magazine. Liar. Get some of your Eat it. Did I just cuss there? I probably did. Oh well. I couldn't hit anything. Firing wildly and blindly. Is it a dress? Hey, your freaking dresses. I'll have to get her one. Also, Niner. Don't touch Mr. Killingsworth. Take these. Happy. Hey. Bye. Okay. See ya. Hopefully, he'll stop complaining about the sun. Or at least. It'll only take ten minutes, Nina. We ain't gonna be fighting the army of the undead, Nina. Stop complaining, Nina. Why ain't gonna be fighting the army of the undead? Stop complaining, Nina. And they're not really zombies, by the way. They're just ghouls. They basically, you know, like the normal ghouls, except they lost their mind, went crazy. People, some uh, there are many theories. It's never really said. They just leave it up to you no know, variety. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. But I think it's just well. When you live as long as a ghoul, you uh, can easily lose your freaking mind. And I, I hate how they just completely changed up ghouls in Fallout 3, which had to carry over to New Vegas. Ghouls were originally slow. And, uh... Now they moved slow, because they were basically rotting irradiated living corpses. As they are. And I'm no threat. I'm not feral. <laughs> this is the same voice actor. Uh... From Willow, a very companion experience, except trying to be a ghoul and failing. Yes, I can see that. Why are you here? 
I'm looking for someone. Have you seen a tall ghoul in a cowboy hat? Yes. He comes by every day to see me. Well, not me. He's looking for that Jefferson fellow. But I like to think he's looking for me. I have such a crush on him. He's so big and tall and handsome. You mean Jefferson isn't here? I told him that Jefferson had gone out into the Mojave, as other fathers have done before him, but that he had never returned. We assumed he had died. Do you know why he keeps coming back every day if Jefferson is dead? No, I don't know why he keeps coming back, but I like seeing him, so I haven't tried to make him stop. Uh, when do you expect him today? I really don't know. Some days I don't see him until three or four in the afternoon. I do know he stays out at that camp or the gate. There's a bed he sleeps there. Okay, thanks. Why are you hanging out here? I'm tired of Jason and this place and the followers and would love to run away with him but I don't know if he'll take me I haven't the courage to ask him hmm. would you like for me to talk to him for you I can ask him to take you with him when he leaves yes that would be wonderful oh and what's your name I'll be sure to ask him when I speak to him it's and tell him. Jessica, and thank you for helping me. All right. That has got to be a wig. Well, of course. And the voice acting for that was pretty bad. It just. I, I know it'd be pretty hard to do a ghoul voice. I I. Hey, six, can I borrow a smoke? I'm all out. I don't. I really don't even think I could do it if I tried. Uh, so maybe better than what I can do. But uh, this one is even more interesting. I'm glad that Willow's mod doesn't add many talking NPCs besides you know who. Anyway. How do we miss I him? I told you about the motel my parents own, right? My mom does most of the cooking for the guests. She's the one that taught me how to cook. Huh. Cool. Mm, good dog. Yeah? What is it? Will and I are traveling together and we tracked you down to see if you had her teddy bear. Yeah. Do you have it? Will you give it to me? Sure. You know that girl Jessica, the bright follower? The one that waits to see you every day? Sure. You might consider asking her to go away with you. I think she likes you. I suppose. She does, and she's so pretty. She's got a great smile and that hair. You should go for it. You're right. I should. Huh. This is just randomly clipped together audio, and apparently they improved it a bunch. I hear you're looking for a man named Jefferson? Yeah. Hi, JT. How you doing, you good dog? Yeah, I was supposed to find this before, but didn't.
Okay, so basically Jefferson killed this guy's two sons, and so he was hired to track him down. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the note. You must be desperate for money and to keep hanging around like this. Yeah. But he's dead, and you're wasting your time. Are you going to keep standing here hoping he'll show up? Yeah, I am. What of it? Nothing. I just thought you might like to talk about your problems. Well, it warned me you were quiet. Yeah. Yeah? What is it? That's a good-looking dog you have there. I suppose. Is he smart? He seems well-trained. Yeah. We're just inviting J2 for you for 250 caps, if you'd be willing to discuss it. Sure. Sure. Uh, let me take him, huh? Willow knows, and your lad. Yeah, I know about Jefferson. Blah, 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 blah. You can use the money. Let me have him. All right. Congratulations, you are now a proud dog owner, and such a JT will be your responsibility until he dies. You will not be able to fire him.